Welcome to today's sweet launch party called Play Around with the New Die. Today we're launching June's Die to Try series die that's sure to help you show off your sly quilting skills. I'm Lynn Gibney, AccuQuilt's Chief Brand and Product Officer. I can't wait for you to see this month's Die to Try. So let me quickly introduce you to your hosts for today, Pam and Erica. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Lynn. It's so excited so to be here. All right, quilters, this die is one you'll certainly fall in love with. I know we have had a ton of fun working with it. Oh, we have had a fun, a lot of fun with it. And because of that, we're going to have a fun launch party for you today. As always, we've got a lot of fun planned with some exciting prizes, some clever project ideas, and an adorable trunk show. Wait till you see. All right, ladies, I'm going to go get ready for our experts. We have Jeannie Miller and Barbara Harper today. Hey. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. It's great. They'll be helping us to show off this new die in a little bit. So have a great show. Thank you, Miss Lynn. Lynn. All right, I don't want to wait any I longer, can't. Pam. Let's see our new die. With the Go Fox die, you can add an adorable animal to any project. This fun applique die comes with six shapes to construct a full and lovable fox. The five by 10 die board means that you can cut up to four layers of pre-fused fabric using any Go fabric cutter. To make this cute animal even sweeter, you can personalize each one using the free downloadable embroidery designs available on the AccuQuilt website or the designs available for purchase. Think about pairing this clever creature with other Animal Go applique dies alongside Go cubes, Go square dies, or Go project dies to create playful wall hangings, darling pillows, and more. The creative possibilities with this applique die are limitless because at AccuQuilt we help you cut time so you can quilt more. All right, quilters, we are so in love with this fun furry little critters. Let's take a look at the yes. die. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So many people have asked us over the years yes. for this cute little fox yes. die. So first of all, he has six pieces and the head and the body with the tail. Right. And then this is the um, cheeks. Like the cheeks. Yes. Cheeks on him. And this is his belly. Yes. And this goes on the tail and his eyes and his nose. So um, super cute. Super cute. Uh, this is a great scrap busting die. You can just it find is. all of those pieces that you've already pre-fused. You can use up to four layers of pre-fused cotton, but yep. you can use other material materials, flannel, felt, denim wool, okay? All kinds of things. So craft many foam. different projects, craft foam. Yes. Um, the Oakley girl, when we were testing this die, was yes. cutting boxes before <laughs> out of craft foam. All right, so should we cut some cotton? We should. All right, so we've pre-fused our fabric. Uh, we have different kinds of fusible on our website. Okay, yes, we do. And so throw some in your cart. Erica, this is when, you and I talk about this all the time. We keep our scraps. Right, we do. From, from, fat, from projects that are already pre-fused. So like here's his cheeks. Now, we need a left and a right. right. So you, they, and they are directional. So you're gonna wanna yes. fam, have one piece facing up and one piece facing down. Yep, so I'm gonna trim this. Yes. Okay. I'm Aren't put those that. scissors great? Those are the, oh, the larger K. size of the Karen K. Buckley. Oh, yes. I do yes. love those. All right, so we're gonna lay this here and we're gonna need two of these little guys. We'll fan fold it back. We'll do this. I love the fact that we can just use our scraps that we have already prefused. And then the eye, we need three of them. Right. So we're just gonna go back and forth. The eye and the nose. The eyes and the nose. Oh, yes. The now listen, it's on a five, are upon you. Oh. five by 10 die board. Yes. So you make sure you have a five by 10. That's cutting right. Board. That's right. All right, shall we cut it? Let's do. This is gonna fit through all of our cutters, including the Go Me. 
this is a great crafting project now that kids are out of school oh, and yes. what should they be doing? They should be cutting <laughs> foxes. You know what, this is one of those sides that you are gonna find so many uses for it. Once you get it home, you're not gonna believe it. Yes, all right, so we're gonna slide, don't lift. And then we're gonna just lay our little fox out. So if you wanted your fox to go in different directions, you would? Oh, you would put your fabric face down mm -hmm. and that way the tail would face the other direction. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, here's his tummy. Those are his cheekies. I know, I was waiting oh, for okay. you. You're so nice. I know. I do think I'm nice. <laughs> All the time, everywhere. All the time. Okay, oh, and this goes like this. It's like building paper dolls. Yes. Okay, is this right? No, is this that, is how oh, it goes. Oh, that's how it goes. There we go, I was like, wait, hold please. Yep. Okay. And then right there in the middle, look at, try, okay, first of all, Erica, I would never cut these shapes by hand. Oh, never. Never, ever, and I've lost already a circle. Oh, he's right here, hold on. There he is. There's his nose. There's his nose, and I have one little thread here. I don't know why we keep saying he, this could be a she. It could be. Well, mm, yes, he could be, she could be. Look. So Ta-da, ta-da. So cute. And I love the fact that, again, we just pulled our scraps that we were. Right, because I always keep bin. mine because mm -hmm. then, you know, you've got some great territory here for little yes. circles, for different things. We've got yes. a secondary tail. You never know where you need you, another tip. Listen, for your often tail. I find I lose tails. Yes. So, okay. So, a great, fun dye. Yes. Now, I love that you mentioned all the different materials that we can cut with our dyes because I feel like that gets overlooked. And, or I feel like people think you, they can't mix their fabric choices. Oh, right. But you really can. You and can. it actually adds so much depth and dimension to your projects. So you could use something fuzzy like some, some uh, Shannon Cuddle right. right here. And I think they've got a little piece to cut a tail. Right. Or... You could even use um, some wool, right? Right. So we have some wool that we sell on our website. It's uh, layered cakes of wool. Yes, and this is brand new. It's brand super new. exciting. And let's take a look. Let's just thumb through those colors. The yummy colors. They're so many so fox fun. colors here. Yeah. See, our little girl fox could be She pink. could be pink. She could be. I love that color for the yes. fox, that kind of orangey. But there's great browns all the way through greens and blues. Mm -hmm. And these purpley, oh, that's a really pretty purple. See, isn't that beautiful? Really pretty. So check it out on our website today. Yes. If you're thinking, oh, I just kind of want to change things up and yeah. need some wool. Yeah. Okay. The great thing about wool and once you've prefused fabric is that you don't have to worry about that lengthwise grain. That's right. Okay. That's right. All right, shall we cut ahead? Yes. Now this is a wool print. This wasn't in that bundle. Right. Right. So, and then this is some little fuzzy. It's so soft. So soft. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna cut it again. Now, Erica, when I am cutting wool in those thicker fabrics, I just cut one layer at a time. I do too. Normally I do too. you could cut six layers of cotton. I cut four layers of prefuse. And I usually just do one or two of craft foam mm -hmm. as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. and we're gonna slide that mat, don't lift. Let's put the fuzzy tail. Yeah, tail let's on put him. the fuzzy tail. Because look at how cute this is. And I'm going to be very gentle pulling that out. Yeah. He goes the other way, doesn't he? Yep. Look at that. But see how much dimension, what a difference that makes. And then if we substitute the wool for the head. But, you know, this. I mean, I like, I love using Essex linen, but you can combine that with other fabrics. Yes. And I have a project in my quilting head that we've talked about that I'm gonna use some cuddle and I'm using some flannel and I'm using some cotton in it because it's yeah. gonna give it just the right, just the right little dimension. Look at how cute that is. Kind of looks like Riley, my dog. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, I love making little wool projects like this and finishing them by hand. But of course, 
that's not for everybody. And right. there's a lot of options available for that, no matter what kind of fabric you're using. You could do raw edge applique. We yep. have some samples in our trunk show. We do. You could use a decorative stitch on your machine. You could just quilt all over the top. We have some examples of that. Yes, as we well. do. We do. Or if you've got an embroidery machine, we've got embroidery available. But more about that later because I want to introduce our expert. I am so anxious to see what all they've dreamed up. Okay. For today's show, we've challenged two of our experts to come up with some Foxy Projects ideas. That's right. Our first expert is Jeannie Miller. Now, Jeannie's used and sold AccuQuilt products Hi, at quilt shows and retreats since 2008. As soon as she was old enough to operate the sewing machine solo, she began her lifelong hobbies of sewing, embroidering, and quilting. Jean is an active member of several quilting guilds and is the chapter chair of the Treasure Coast chapter of the Florida Sewing Society. Now our second expert today is Barbara Harper. Barbara's a quilter, a seamstress, Hi, a Barbara. pattern designer, educator, long arm newbie, and scrap fabric lover. Barbara does it all, and she has owned her AccuQuilt Go since 2008. She credits much of her award-winning quilt success to the accurate cuts that her system provides. Barbara began sewing as a child with her grandmother, learning additional skills in 4-H and high school home ec. They don't say that anymore. No, they don't. As a seamstress, seamstress Barbara incorporates the AccuQuilt system into a wide variety of sewing-related work. She teaches at guilds, shops, and retreats, as well as creates patterns and projects for AccuQuilt and the Missouri Star Quilt Company. All right, I can't wait any longer. I want to check out the ideas our experts have come up with. Jeannie, what do you have so far? Hi, quilters. I'm so lucky that I've had the chance to share with you some of the ideas that I've come up with to use that new fox dye with. I love applique and I especially love doing embroidery with applique, but you don't have to have an embroidery machine to do a lot of this stuff. You could just use some raw edge applique and just stitch around them and it would have the same effect. So the first thing that I made was this wonderful little uh, gift guest towel. And they're always nice to have and to make up ahead of time to use when you need a last minute hostess gift. So I used one of the downloadable embroidery designs that you purchase to go along with this and I added the word fox. And then when I got looking at it, I thought, well, you know what? We could dress our fox up for all different types of seasons. So I went and cut out the uh, witch's hat from the Halloween medley die and that would make him nice and spooky for Halloween. And then I also found that the smallest of the bows from the bow die would be a great way to uh, dress this little fox up a little bit. So that was another idea that I had. And then I just wanted to make several different projects for my uh, great, great nieces. And they just turned a year old and I still hadn't gotten around to making them some stuff. They're twins. And so I made announcements for them to put up in their room. And you can see here that we have Cordelia and Lorelei. And I used the fox as part of that announcement. And I put the information on like their names, when they were born, what day, the time, the weight, and the length. So those are all real cute little things that I've added to these wonderful little um, frameable uh, announcements of their birth that can hang in their bedrooms. And then to go along with that theme, I also got a couple really cute little jumpers. Aren't these adorable? And I put the fox on there. I used that downloadable design that I purchased that's available from AccuQuilt because it has a few more details on the design, like uh, parts of their ears, a little bow to go in the front. And I thought it looked just really adorable. And won't they look cute this summer running around in these little outfits, enjoying the summer? And then I also made this great little bag. I love to make bags, as you well know. And I put the fox on there. And then I used a bunch of different flowers. And I used several dyes to do that with. I used Aditya Sitar's Simple Shapes for some of the leaves down here. I use the, um, also used the Serendipity Cube because it has a lot of small little flowers. And I used a lot of those up here on the top. And then I noticed that 
as I turned the tail that I had cut upside down, I noticed it sort of looked like a tulip. So I used from the Simple Shapes uh, a leaf that was on there and I put the tulip in the center and doesn't that look really cool to have a nice little tulip out of our fox dye also. So those were just some of the ideas that I came up with right away to use the fox dye for and I hope you enjoy them. And I can't wait to share with you how my uh, challenge project that uh, will be revealed later today. So I'll see you back then. Okay, first of all, I think Cordelia and Lorelei are gonna love their oh, absolutely, pictures. and those little rompers. Oh they're my so, gosh, they're so cute! cute. All right, with what I said, you're gonna find a million uses for that fox. All right, with all of that inspiration from Jeannie. Oh, the bag with the bow, the bag and the flowers, and turning the little tail tip yes. upside to right be a tulip to be a tulip yeah i happen to have one right brilliant. here imagine oh that we gosh. had an extra we, we had, had an extra, extra tail all right so um, brilliant we should give one away oh okay should we do that our first lucky winner of a go fox die is drum roll please barbara l from platte city missouri congratulations barbara I love this. Look how you kind of are trying to keep me on track there. Keep you on the track. All right, as we promised, we want to talk about embroidery with our Foxy friend. Now, as with all of our non-designer applique shapes, we have free downloadable embroidery available with three stitches. And we have the satin, blanket, and motif. Okay, I love the motif because it gives him that little he furry look. Furry. But this is just fun. And I noticed that we, the samples are done actually with t-shirt material. Yes, t-shirt fabric. Which again is another fabric we don't often think about using, but that no. would be a great way to even upcycle some old t-shirts. Yeah, do that. Put it on a jacket or a yeah. backpack or something. Yeah. And we talk about this a lot. If you're gonna put your fox on something that's gonna get washed, like a towel mm -hmm. or a t-shirt or a romper, um, I would suggest using that uh, blanket stitch. I would too. Or not, the satin stitch. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Look at how fun those are. Very much. Okay, but, but it's just the beginning, right? That's right. That's the tip of the iceberg because, or the tip of the tail. We've got a lot of really adorable embroidery downloads available for purchase as well. And we're going to start with the Go Fox embroidery set. It's by V Stitch Designs. Okay, our good friends at V Stitch, I just love them so much. They are so Clever. They are. So this one is really cute because he has little eyeballs. This one is actually one of my favorites because it also looks like it is furry and has feet. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It added the feet. Feet and ears. Yes. I just love it. So cute. All right. Well, we've got a lot over there, so you may have to shuffle around a little okay. bit. Okay. What are we looking for next? We're looking for the fox with... Sunglasses. Oh, with sunnies. <laughs> so here's our fox with sunglasses. He's all ready. She all ready for summer. She I is. love the little toe beans. Yes. Aren't those the little beach cute? Balls. The beach ball, the little floaty. So yeah. this is by Specialty Designs. Look at this. Perfect for a beach bag. And then this one is for Brock. This is the baseball fox embroidery and this by is, our good friends at V-Stitch. Yes. With the baseball and the bat, and look, the little shiners and the eyes. Little, I think that's so cute. Uh, Brock would have changed that logo to a different one. Yes, he would have put some initials on there, probably. All right. Okay, we've got the back to school fox, and look at this, this little foxy guy is From so cute. Specialty, specialty designs. designs. He's got his cute little backpack and a pencil. This would be super cute, embroidered on a backpack. A or backpack a or a little tote, tote bag tote for bag. library books. Yeah. yeah. With their name on it. I just think that's now, fun. There's a couple that we don't have on the list. So they're oh, here. Should we boxes. Talk so wait, hold this one. Hold this. Hold that one. Let's look at this one. So this is the Go Fall Fox. And this is by V-Stitch. By V-Stitch. And this is the Go Fall, the Go Fox with leaves. And this is from Specialty, Specialty Designs. Designs. Look at how fun they are. And again, here we've made use of some other dyes with mm -hmm. our fox because this is from Holiday Accessories. It is. As is the little hat. It is. We had a whole discussion about that dye just not two minutes ago. Just minutes okay. ago. Now listen. But wait till you see this one. So this morning we were reading through comments um, yes. about our upcoming show. And Eric and I were very, um, we read them all the time. And 
Marty Crandall. Marty. We, we she, saw. she was saying, oh, I don't know. I just can't think of anything else besides the fox. Gotta wait for Pam and Erica to convince me. Yeah. Well, here we go. Okay. So look, our fox is now a squirrel. How cute is How that? Cute with, is the with acorn. With acorn. Which with there's acorn. a die for. There is an acorn die. It's yeah. on the fall medley die. Yes. Yes. Look at how fun this is. So adorable. All right. Quilters, these would be so fun to add to so many projects. And since embroidery is on sale for the entire month of June for 15% off, yes. use the code embroidery15. It's a great time to start downloading your embroidery files, get ready for your summer projects. I can just see the little sunnies on some pool towels. Oh, and yeah. And I know you love a good tea towel. I do. I do. Okay. It's true. That back to school fox, like you said, perfect for a book bag or summer mm -hmm. reading bag. I mean, it's yeah. just so cute. And that squirrel. The squirrel's that squirrel. hilarious. He has little teeth. He has little squirrel teeth. Yes. <laughs> okay. We right. have an amazing quilt project. Oh, go for it. Okay, we have this amazing project called Go Talk to the Animals. It features nine different animals that are all made with pieces from the Go Owl die. So the question we have, I wonder how many other animals you could make with the Go Fox. Marty, is now's the time to now's pay attention. Now's the time to pay attention. So we know a squirrel, right? Right, and, and a fox. And that is such a great question. And I think I can put money on Barbara Harper coming up with some ideas on some other animals that we can make with this. So Barbara, help me out here. Hi Erica, hi Pam. I'm so excited to bring inspiration uh, with the new fox dye. Let me get started because I got a ton of stuff to show you. First, it fits on a onesie, just perfect. So you can just make a fast gift. In here, I made a basket, applicated it. I've got some burp cloths and some bibs ready to go. What a fast baby gift. It's summertime, so I made some little pillowcase dresses and I embellished it with a little fox on the dress. It's gonna be so fun. And talking about foxes, fox in the socks is one of my grandsons. So I made him a red fox bookmark so he can have a bookmark for his book. Well, while I was playing with the foxes, I noticed they look an awful lot like kitty cats. So the fox in the top has button, shank buttons for eyes. Then you can notice I made a number of different little kitty cats just by embellishing it a few different ways. Another pillowcase dress filled with kitty cats. How much fun would that be to play with a little girl and make her own kitty cat to embellish her own little kitty cat dress. Those pillowcase dresses are so easy to make. I noticed that the cat looked awful close to Pete, so I made another bookmark, a Pete the Cat bookmark. What fun is he gonna have when he reads his books? Well, I moved on, there's more. What about a dog? If you notice, this is simply the fox body turned upside down, two of them together, make a cute little dog. I just embellished it a little bit more. AccuQuilt cuts with other products, so I made some curly hair so it looks just like my Wally. And last, well, not last because there's more, I made this little critter here. Don't know what he is, but it was fun to put him together. Or what about this little stinker here? Looks like a skunk. I'm sure you can make a lot of different shapes from this fox die. Last, I made what I call foxtail flowers. I used six of the fox, fox tails, and then uh, the center is the eye or nose to make foxtail flowers. Now, I haven't even started using other dyes yet. That's all from the fox dye. I did pick up the cookie decorations and made a fox in a dress and I put a little bow on her head. So I've got lots of ideas on how I can use it with my cube. 
that's my challenge, so I better go get busy because I haven't used any other dyes yet. See you in a minute. Okay. All right. We knew we could count on Barbara to come we through could. with some creative ideas, and she did not disappoint. So the cat and the mouse and the dog. And the skunk. And the skunk. I mean, so many cute little designs. Yes. And I love the fact that she made, like, squares with them, but she also made, like, bookmarks and tote bags. Right. And the kitty right. cat dress. Oh, that, that had the little kitty, dress, the, the little pillowcase dress. You yes, know, that the, had. Oh, the pillowcase dress. Yes. I was thinking. I was I had already skipped ahead to the cookie decorations oh, and the yes. dress from there. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. So many great I ideas. I can just see so many other animals, and I can hardly wait to see what our viewers come up with. And the well. flower out of the yeah, fox out tails. of the tails. All right, Barbara did such a great idea and so much inspiration. I think we should give away another Go Fox die to a lucky viewer so that they can get started on some of those ideas. That's a good idea. All right, our second lucky winner of a Go Fox die is, drum roll please. It's Marsha B from Midland, Texas. Congratulations. 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 Okay, now listen, we just, um, we want Marty to make sure she's getting all sorts right. of inspiration. Right, are you getting these ideas? Wait, yeah. we haven't even gotten to the trunk show yet, quilters. I know, and um, Lynn has told us that we've sold out of almost half of our inventory. Yes, so, so remember, remember die this, to try. It's a die to try. That means that the die is only around for one month or while supplies last. Yeah. Now, you're gonna be able to find it at some of your local AccuQuilt retailers that yep. have ordered it already, and a lot of them did because they could tell, just like we can, that this is gonna be a popular die. Yeah. So don't delay, you wanna order that right away. All right, and we can count on our experts to come up with some great ideas always, can't we? Okay, they always come up with so many creative ideas. And since we were discussing embroidery earlier, we wanted to talk about some ways to add this to your projects. So using the Go Square six and a half inch, six inch finish die is perfect for the background. And you can find that as shape number one in your 12 inch cube. Yes. You can also find it as a standalone die. You can. But that means that it's gonna be perfect to surround with shapes made from the 12 inch cube, like right. you see here, or made from the six inch cube. Yes. And I, I think that that's one of the fun things about it is that the cube systems all work together, right? So you right. can mix and match and come up with this. But this one has flying geese and half square triangles. And then we just put our little fox in the so middle. So simple and it makes such an impact and right. it really sets it off. Now you could also use the larger go square eight inch, eight and a half inch, eight inch finish square mm -hmm. and pair it up with cube blocks or better yet, how about some of our great block on board or bob oh, dies? Yes. Plus, think about setting your blocks on point. Right. It's gonna give a fun new look as well. That almost doubles all your possibilities. It right does, there, right? The minute, the minute you turn them on side. And with that, you know you wanna use our Go setting triangles for accurately and easily placing those blocks on point. And boy, would that ever be a great look for that. Plus, this die is going to pair up really well with some of our other appliques, like the owl that we talked right. about earlier, right. the owl accessories. Right. We saw the cookie decorations. Right. And I feel like it's going to be so fun with, like, the penguin. Oh, the owl and the penguin. And Good the buddy. fox. And the fox. Huh? I like it. And we have, what is that one? The zoo animals. Yes, all kinds of animals. All kinds A menagerie. of animals. menagerie. And I love the fact that you could put the top hat and the bow tie from the Go Holiday Medley die. Oh, Which is what yes. I was thinking about was that. Yes, absolutely. Or take that little bow from the cookie decorations, yes. put it up on her ear for her to look lovely as well. All right, we're just doesn't getting started. It doesn't have to started. be a he fox. No, it doesn't have to be a he fox. It could be a she fox. It could be a she fox. All right, we could go on for hours. So let's reveal today's <laughs> final projects. I wonder what our experts have cleverly come up with. Oh. Jeannie, what do you have for us? So this is my challenge pieces. <laughs> I made a Read Me a Story pillow. And it's a great little pillow to go. And if you purchase a nice little book to go along with it, 
there's a pocket here that you can put the book down into that pocket and then when it's time to read them a story they can go select a book and put it in their read me a story pillow and bring it to you and you can read them a story before bedtime so I thought this was a great gift to give my great great nieces and of course I use the fox on both of the pillows here you can see that I embroidered I just use the uh, free downloadable embroidery designs on these pillows and I also use the three inch alphabet for read and then the two inch capitals alphabet for me a story and embroidered those on the pillows and put the pillow together so I hope you really enjoy my challenge piece the read me a story pillow okay sold those are adorable. Absolutely sold. Think about all you your kids. You have to make those for all of the all little the grands, grands and right the grands now. And everything. And what a great gift because then you can just give them a selection and of you books. That right. Tuck right in there. Yes. I think that that is so. What a great idea. I do too. And then once you read it, then they can go pick a book for the next time and right. stick it in and the little pocket. Right. Stick it in there. Okay, Jeannie, I love it. All right, Barbara, what have you made for us that can compete with that? Well, I'm back and I used my cube. Matter of fact, I used three different size cubes and the new Fox die. I used Heat and Bond Ultra Hold Adhesive. It's a paperback, a fusible, but it's stronger. And that's what I used to make my fox faces and my foxtail flowers. I know they're not gonna go anywhere and they don't need to be sewed on. I did do some heavy quilting to hold them down, secure them in place. But my foxes were kind of inspiration from Elizabeth Hartman's Fancy Foxes. This is the 12 inch fox. This is the eight inch fox. And this is a four inch fox. I did some flange binding. And I call it the Go Cube Fox Pack because it's a pack of foxes. I hope you like it. Okay, she did not disappoint. No, she did not. I love the fact that she made our foxes from a cube and then added she, the lotus right. blocks. So, the lo not lotus, the, the, fox. the fox box. Fox glove feet. Those fox, ones, the fox, fox flower feet ones. Fo fox blocks. Yeah, there fox, we go. Fox flowers and foxes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, I, I have no idea how you're gonna choose, but you either. people get to vote. So here's the deal. Which expert project is your favorite? Is it Jeannie's Read Me a Story Pillow or Barbara's Go Cube Fox Pack? Or do you love them both and you can't possibly decide? All right, if you are watching from our website or YouTube, you can click on the box, vote box. It's going to be below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote to the box that displays over our video. There you go. All right, quilters, we've got even more inspiration for you in today's trunk show. Lynn, can you come give us a hand? Wait till oh, you see. Oh, here she is. Absolutely. So She's exciting. All right. Here's the first one. This is the Go Flashy Foxes Wild Bike Hanging by our good friend Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. She used Maywood Studio Fabrics, and this is absolutely hands down one of my favorite projects. And this is with the this is the same block we just looked at with the twelve inch with the twelve inch cube. Yep. So things to notice about this: um, the dark foxes go one direction, and the lighter foxes go the other direction. So depending on which way you want our foxes to face, they can go up or down on the die. Right. And then each block they're sashed with a cornerstone block, if you can see that, and that's using the one and a half inch strip. So. There's a little extra spacing between each block, which I think really sets it off with yeah. the white background. And then she used, I think, the three and a half inch for a border, right? Yes. But super cute fabrics. I love this fabric. Fine. I do too. And do you want to show us the back? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, very cute. Look, uh, I love Terry because she just adds stuff to the she back, right? She pieced the back. She put, she put corners on it. She put a sleeve Please. on it. She, she loves it us. It's darling. And this is the um, project that you're going to find on the packaging. This is the one that the lovely Eric and I made a video on how to cut and sew the block. It's fabulous. We did. Yeah, so I'm, I will be setting this one aside. Oh, are you already deciding? Right already. Now? Here, wow. I'll put it here for you. Hey, hey, no, no. <laughs> no. no. Oh. Okay, next. Okay, Melanie Call did one of my all-time favorite things. 
Yes. She made a fox party banner um, sh and she used craft foam. Look at this, Erica. This is so cute. This is a no-sew project that she's made. She's used ribbon. Yes. Uh, she punched holes. She used a little hole puncher. Our cupcake die. Here's that heart from the cookie yep. decorations. The Here's three inch ca carefree alphabet. These little polka dots like are confetti. just so sweet. So think about this. You could make this for, you know, birthday parties. You could make it for anniversaries. You could make it for graduations. But what a great no sew project for kids. And the colors are adorable. They it's are. Yummy. It's so fun. Melanie, good job. It's I amazing it what the, that um, craft foam, what color variety there is. Yes. So. Yes. It is truly one of my favorite mediums. Yes. It's a do great love it. medium. And that pennants die is very versatile. Oh, yeah. Oh, because right. You cut out because all at of them. the base of it is right. all the different pennant shapes. You're right. Yes. And the cupcakes. I feel like we should have had cupcakes, lady. We should have. Oh, we should have. missed out here. All right, next up is the Go Fun Fox wall hanging. This one's by Melanie Call of A Bit of Scrap Stuff. And she's used Riley Blake Designs fabric that we are over the moon about. Okay, first of all, Melanie, we love this fabric because it has bunnies and little deers and foxes. And Erica, what is this? <gasps> it's a hedgehog. <laughs> Erica's all in love with it, little elephants. But we'll talk about the whole thing in just a second. But look at what she did. She fussy cut that center of the foxes for her project. Put the little fox in there. And I also love that she's used our snowball die. Yes. yes. The six inch finish snowball die. We don't see that used nearly often enough. It's a technique that snowballing the corners that is so popular. And we've got a die for that, right? Yep. And she used the four inch cube to make that six inch block. That's or right. she could have used the eight inch cube. We had a whole discussion about that. We did have we a whole talked about so much <laughs> before the show. But this is just the cutest fabric on the planet. And, and the I love colors. It. And the yeah. hedgehog. Lynn, I'm surprised you're not taking this one. Gosh, we need a hedgehog oh, I, to go with the fox. Yeah, would you work on a hedgehog <laughs> die? I wish we knew somebody who was in charge I of that. Too. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder, Lynn, give me who that would be. Yeah, it's really difficult to choose today. They're yes. all little adorable. Even the embroidery that you were showing earlier, yes. I want to take home with me, and I don't Do know why. Do you want to show oh. the back of this? Yes, yes, very sweet. Oh, uh, this I love. I, I'm, I'm going through a, a seafoam green phase, Yes. and I love she's got her little homemade yeah, um, put a label egg. on it. We have some labels on our she's website. Got a little yes. label here. She's yes. got her corners on it. It's super. It's darling. Don't forget to label and just and get the your little ones. On. Put your sleeves on. Your, it, I love it. Lynn wants someone to come put sleeves on yes. hers. Pam wants somebody to bind hers. I need someone to label mine. Yeah, between us, we're a mess. Okay, the, this is actually goes perfectly with that sweet little table topper or the wall hanging. This is the Fox Snack Max by Melanie. Call it a bit of scrap stuff. Melanie, 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 you are this you're just, just precious. Killing it today here this on is our so show. So cute. Precious. Look at how sweet. Again, here's that snowball die and flying geese from the four-inch cube. Geese. So they finished by two by four. Yes. What a gr great idea if you made a, you know, a test block, you know, or something oh, like yes. that to make a little project out of it. And gingham for the win. Oh, totally. Yes. I love the gingham. Gosh, I love this. And Melanie, would you please make me six? <laughs> okay. Or one. Or one. No, I just want six of all of them. Okay. It gets even cuter. Oh my okay. goodness. This is the Go Sweetness Pillow by Terry Vanden Bosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. She's used Maywood Studios fabric and my goodness is this cute. Okay. Terry loves to make pillows and she is a good pillow maker. Yes, she is. Um, she added a smaller border and outer border. She used our cube. Um, here's half square triangles, smaller half square triangles, and then that solid square in the back. But Erica, you were loving the quilting on this. So she did just a plain straight line, but she did it on an angle for a grid, mm -hmm. and she used pink thread. And you know, I just reach for my white thread or a gray yeah. thread or something neutral. The pink really pops on this project. So kudos really for that. And I think the color choice too here where it's, you know, it's pretty, monochromatic except for the fox, but still the yeah. way it's offset, it just really is a great combination. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. I am good job. Oh. Very nice. All right, we have last one. Our good friend, Justin T from our team, 
This is his favorite of all the this projects. This is his favorite. It's He's called Just Foxes While Hanging by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. And Marianne used Island Boutique fabrics. So quilters, when we talk about raw edge quilting, this is a perfect example of this. Marianne just went around all the shapes with her little machine and just, just did some raw edge great quilting. Just straight edge. And then she quilted the background so this makes the foxes really pop out. Put those squares on point. Again, it's the same square. It's that six inch finished square, yep. but it's a totally different look set on point and then use those setting triangles that we mentioned. It is really cute. Yeah, and I want to show the back here that you can see the raw edge uh, quilting oh, come right. through. Oh, and you see the fox. Little fox. They're hiding on the back. That's really it's cute. Like they're hiding in the leaves. Yes. Okay. That is adorable. All right, quilters, all of these patterns are available as free downloads from the AccuQuilt website. Be sure to download your patterns before your die arrives so you'll be ready to go. And Marty, see, I feel like we have given you so I much think there's inspiration. there's plenty of inspiration there. And apparently Lynn has already chosen her quilt. I have. I'm gonna go with number one. Okay. Door number one. Door, Door number, number one. one. All this right. is just adorable. It's so cute. Carrie did a great job. It's all so right. cute. All right, fast. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. How is it that that happens, that she gets to do that? I don't that? know, but just stand there and, 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 and yes. just stand there for a minute. And there I'll were just... so many fun projects, and I love it because it's springtime, right? Look, are you not going to make a whole bunch of those? I feel like little snack pads. I'm going right. to start with this one and okay. go from there. All right, quilters, it is time for us to check our fabric mailbox and see what our friends at Riley Blake have sent us to help make this a really great party. Now, if you've been watching lately, you know that the team hides the fabric of the day that's going to be given away by our sponsor. And it, there are two lovely selections of fabric for us to give away from Riley and Blake in this box. We haven't seen it yet, so let's take a and peek. And I'm the person in charge of sending the fabric, which is ludicrous. Which I'm thinking is a mistake. <laughs> yes. And if it is the same fabric that has hedgehogs and all of the animals on it, I am not sure it's leaving the building. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, yes. It is, it, it is. is. It is, and so okay, much more. Okay, hand it out here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. All the different colorways, look at this. Okay. Okay, here we go, it's Riley Blake. It's called It's a Girl. Is that oh. one called It's a Boy? No, I think it's, oh, a it's girl just too. all it's a girl. Okay, look, it has the gingham, it has the sweet flowers. There's that gingham. Oh, I love that gingham. It has the the all of the foxes the and green. the owls. Erica, oh, dang. Oh, oh. Okay, they say we have to give it away. They so do. I guess we will. Oh man. The winner of our first selection of fabric is drumroll, please. Van M. Uh, Van N of Jacksonville, Florida. Congratulations. Congratulations. Just for a minute, I thought you were going to say Pam H. H of Omaha, Omaha Nebraska. Nebraska. The winner of the second selection of fabric is, oh, drum roll, Deborah Yu from New Braunfels, Texas. Congratulations. Hi, Riley Blake. Huge shout out to you for sponsoring today's show. Erica and I will love making fox projects with this fabric. <laughs> we are pink and green with envy. Oh All right, gosh. quilters, that time has come. We ask which expert project was your favorite, and it's time for us to announce the winner. Okay. Our team has counted all your votes. The winner is a huge drum roll, please. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There was no way to choose. There was no way to choose between there these There was no two. way to they choose. They were absolutely stinking adorable, yeah. both of them. Okay, so we're gonna give you a little tip. That's right. We have, oh, go, talk. Because we've got tons of deals available for you on our website. Now, we mentioned that 15% off embroidery right. before, but there's another one using the code SHIP50 to get free ground shipping on orders of $50 or more if you live in the contiguous US. So, before you get too ready here, first of all, if you use that SHIP50 code, your die and mount will ship free. That's right. Okay, and guess what? You can order your embroidery files using the embroidery code, embroidery15. Right. Because those are downloadable. Right. And then place a new order 
of physical things like dyes and wool and mats and right. setting triangles. You oh, and those new quilt labels, you have to check those out. Ship 50, and if you live in the contiguous US, it will ship free. That's right, because you can only use one code per order, but you can certainly place two orders. Yeah. We thought we'd help you with that. <laughs> to get your order in, open a new tab or two in your browser. Type in accuquilt.com slash party. Go to the site, see the offers, place your order. All right. It is time for us to go get ready for our next show. We hope that today's event was just what everybody needed to inspire you to utilize your sly quilting skills in some fun box projects. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can visit the events page on AccuQuilt's website for more details on upcoming shows. And while you're there, check out the blog for tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration galore. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. For your email to sign up for notifications for upcoming events. Signing up for our events means you're entered to win a door prize that we'll give away during the show, so you'll want to tune in and see if you won. Be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We have tons of fun. Tomorrow, the lovely Eric and I will be getting started on the Go Morning Star Rainbow Quilt Along with all of you. And join us every Tuesday at 12 noon Central Time for more launch parties and trunk shows. These events are filled with tips, tricks, and inspiration. Next time, we'll be sharing plenty of last-minute Father's Day and graduation gift ideas. We hope to see you there.